Hello, this is Jason from the Sunfrog Academy, and in this video, we're going to do an overview on the Ads Manager. So I'm here at business.facebook.com, and I'm going to go ahead and log into my account. And once I'm inside my account, I'm going to come up here to the menu, and I'm going to click on Ads Manager. Now that's going to open up my Ads Manager, and this is where you create and manage your Facebook ads. Now there's a few things I want you to really understand here. Now I really want you to understand the way this all works and I'm going to give you like the bird's eye view and this bird's eye view is going to help you truly understand the way that Facebook's ad manager works and the way that everything is kind of categorized here. So over here to the left we have campaign, ad account, ad set, and new ad. So you can see that this is kind of like a hierarchy. Now this section here, ad account, this is just because this is a new ad account. So once we create our first ad, this will go away. So really there's only three steps here. You have your campaign objective, you have your ad set, which is your audience placement budget and schedule, and then you have your new ad, which is your ad format, the type of media and text. So it's campaign, ad set, new ad. So on the campaign level is where you set your objective and your objective is what the outcome of this advertisement is the desired outcome that you want from this advertisement. So for an example, if you want to increase conversions on your website, you want people to make a purchase, you would go to increase conversions on your website. If you want to send people to a web page, then you would send people to a destination on or off of Facebook. And if you want to promote your fan page, meaning get page likes, then you can click promote your page. Now I do have another video in the Sunfrog Academy about page objectives and I would strongly suggest that you watch that where I go into a lot of detail on each one of these objectives. But for now just keep in mind that you can also just hover over and you can get an answer immediately. So you can see when I hover over promote your page, it says use this page like objective to promote your fan page or increase conversions on your website, use this website conversion objective to drive valuable actions on your website. So that may not be super helpful and you may not still understand that. Facebook has a way of making things sometimes more complicated than they actually are. And that's why I go into each objective very thorough in the objectives of video training on the Sunfrog Academy. So for now, let's just say that we want to send people to our website. I'm going to go ahead and select my objective, send people to website. And you can see the campaign name is website clicks. And of course you can change this to whatever you want to call it. So now this is just because this is a new account. I have to select my country, US and all that. And then I'll hit continue. But typically once you do this, you're going to go from objective straight to audience. So now we're here in the audience. And this is where you're going to define the audience that you want to promote to. So whatever audience you put in here, these are going to be the people that see your Facebook ads. So very so here at the top, the first thing we're going to select is our location. So right now I'm advertising to the United States. If I wanted to advertise to multiple countries, I could type those in here. So if I wanted to go after Canada, if I wanted to target United Kingdom, I can type in these multiple countries here. Or I could also exclude countries. So for now, I only want to advertise to United States. So I can just exit out of these other countries. And you can see that we're targeting United States. Also know that you can drill down even more. So I could actually target to a city. So for example, Atlanta, Georgia. And I could even say 25 mile radius of Atlanta, Georgia, or just the current city only. So right now I'm only targeting people that live in Atlanta, Georgia. So you can do this by state. You can do this by zip code. So 30253 is a zip code in Georgia. And then I can remove the zip code. However, I'm going to go ahead and target by country. But just know for location, you can target down from country, state, zip code and city. Now we're going to select the age demographics of people we want seeing this ad. So right now I'm targeting 18 to 65, but let's just say I wanted to target maybe 45 to 65 women only. 
Maybe I'm selling a grandmother shirt and I want to target grandmothers. So maybe I could go 50 to 65 women. This is where I would drill down my demographics. And if you don't know your exact demographics, you're probably going to want to start off with a more wide, broad range until you see what is converting the best. So 18 to 65 all. But this is where you would drill down. You can also target different languages here. So I can type in Spanish or I can type in English. Now this is where you do your detailed targeting, the interests that you want to target. This is what makes the Facebook platform so much more advanced and better targeting than every other platform out there is because Facebook has the most data on its users. So as an advertiser, you can kind of look at Facebook as the number one data provider in the world. They have all the different data demographics, interests, behaviors that we need to really drill down our target audience and get our ad in front of the right person. So let's just go over some of these. So the first one is demographics. We see we have education. So we can run our ads to people that has an associate's degree, college grad, high school grad, in college. So maybe we want to target people that are currently in college with our ads, master's degree, we can go after different fields of study. So we can search for different fields of study. So maybe I can type in nurse and I could click here and now would, we would be targeting nurses. So you can type different fields of study. You can target different schools. So you can search schools here. So maybe University of Georgia, Harvard University, Clayton State University. We can target different types of ethnic groups. We can target based on different financial income, so how much annual income they make, what their net worth is, liquid assets. We can target based on generation, so baby boomers, millennials, Generation X. We can target based on home ownership, so if they're first time home buyers, homeowners or renters. We can target based on home type, apartment, condo. We can target based on home value. So if we want to target people that live in a million dollar plus house or a less than $50,000 house. Property size, so how big their property is. Square footage, year, year home built. We can target based on who lives in the house, so grandparents. So let's say we have a grandparent shirt, we could target grandparents here. Veterans in home, if we have a veterans product that we want to promote, young and hip. We can target based on life events, so anniversary, away from home, birthday, uh, upcoming birthday, friends of, close friends of people with a birthday in zero to seven days, friends and newly wed, long distance relationships, new job, newly engaged, recently moved, parents, we can target moms or even all parents. We can target parents with a toddler, a preschooler, teenagers, zero to 12 months. We can target different type of moms, big city moms, corporate moms, fit moms, green moms, stay at home moms. We can target based on politics, likely to engage in politics conservative, likely to engage in politics liberal. We can target based on people that donated to conservative political causes or to liberal political causes. We can target based on relationship status if you're interested in men, men and women, women, relationship status such as divorced, engaged, married, single. We can target based on work, so different type of employers. If we want to target people that work at Pizza Hut, for an example, here you go. We can target based on industry types, education, farming, government employees, IT and technical, legal, management, nurses again. We can target based on job titles, so the job title that someone puts in on their Facebook profile. So if I want to target CEOs, I could type in CEO. 
We can target on a bunch of different type of interests. You can go through this massive list of different types of interests. We can also target on behaviors. So if people are in the market to buy a new vehicle or purchase a house, we can target B2B, company sizes, industry type. The list goes on and on here. Digital activities. Mobile device. We can target based on the type of mobile brand, the type of mobile device that's used. Purchase behavior. We can target people that buy business products or people that buy do-it-yourself type stuff, uh, gamers, health and fitness. We can target people that like to buy clothing, men, seasonal women. So these are all the different type of categories that you can drill into. However, you can also just type in interest. So let's say that we wanted to target people that like CrossFit. We could type in CrossFit as an interest and we can put that interest in the box. So now we're targeting people that like CrossFit. We can also add more than one interest. So we can do CrossFit and we can also do, so we can do CrossFit and yoga for an example. So now we're targeting people that like CrossFit or yoga. Well, however, we can narrow this down even more. We can target people that like CrossFit and yoga by clicking narrow. And then we just remove it. So now we're targeting CrossFit and yoga. So we have a lot of videos on detailed targeting. This is gold right here. And whenever you can target the right audience, you can really sell a lot of products online. And you definitely want to check out the detailed targeting videos that we have here in the Sunfrog Academy. But let's go ahead and move on. Connections. We can add a connection type so we can target people who like our fate. So we can target people who like our fan page. We can target friends of people who like our fan page, or we can exclude our fans. So if we're running an ad, we can exclude our fans if we want to. We can also target people that used our app or people that have responded to our event. Also, a good thing worth noting here is say that we have a good solid audience here that we're going to use over and over. We can save that audience and we can name it. And then anytime we come back in here, Instead of having to retype all this stuff, we can go to use to save audience here. Placement. This is where our ad is going to show. So automatic placement. Your ads will automatically be shown to your audience in the places they're likely to perform the best. So this can include Facebook, Instagram, and audience network. Or you can click edit placement where you can select where you want your ads to go. So if you want them to be on Facebook, Instagram and audience network, that is by default. If we don't want them to show on audience network and we do not want them to show on Instagram, then we just uncheck them and now our ad is only running on Facebook. However, on Facebook, it's going to run on the mobile and it's going to run on desktop. And then we can select Instagram or we can select audience network. An audience network is just a audience network of Facebook. So Facebook has all these partner websites out there where your ads can show up on like popular blogs and popular websites throughout the internet. We can also come up here and only run on mobile only or we can also run our ads on desktop only. Now, one really cool thing about mobile only is we can also select what type of mobile devices we want them to run on. So we can come here and we can say all mobile devices are Android only or iOS only. And then if we go iOS only, we can even decide if we want all iPhones or maybe we only want to run on the iPhone 6, for an example. Then we can do iPhone 6 and we can remove all these other ones. So now our ads are only going to run on the I Apple iPhone 6. You can also target people that's only connected to Wi-Fi. So once we place our placement, then we're going to go to our budget. So we can set a daily budget or a lifetime budget. So a lifetime budget basically means between this date and this date, I want to spend this much money. So if we want to run a $100 ad for a week, we can do that here with lifetime budget. Or we can do a daily budget where we're going to say, hey, every day we're going to spend 20 bucks on this ad. 
and we can still start a start date and end date. So, hey, we're going to spend 20 bucks on this ad for the next five days. Or we can just let our ad run continuously until we cut it off manually. So then we have our ad set name. So this is just a name for the ad set. So you could just call this ad set number one. You may want to also give a clue to what this ad set is for the future. So maybe I could say 18 to 65 CrossFit Yoga. So I may say 18 plus. And then I may say something like CrossFit Yoga. Just anything where you know what type of ad set that was. So then you hit continue. And as you can see, we're going down the list here. So first we started with the objective. Then we set up the audience, which was the interest. Then we selected the placement, which was where do we want our ad to go? Do we want it on mobile or desktop? And then we set the budget and scaling. Then we set the budget and schedule. And now we're in the ad. So now we can select the ad format, the type of ad we want. So carousel shows multiple images in the post. A single image is just one single image. Video, slideshow, Canva. Canvas. So here is where we're going to browse our library to upload an image or select free stock images. Uh, chances are if you're selling a product, you will have your own image to upload. So for now, I'm just going to select a stock image. Here is where you would connect the Facebook fan page. So whenever you're running an ad, you're going to run that ad off of a fan page. So if this was our nurse product, we would run Nurses Are Awesome. And you'll see a preview here. Since we only select mobile, you're only going to see mobile over here. However, let me go back to the budget and I'm going to select all so you can see how all the examples look. So let's just go to all devices. And you can also skip around here. So I'm going to come back to format. And now you can see this is my desktop view. I can click the arrow and this is my mobile view. Featured phone, desktop right column, Instagram, audience network, and audience network mobile. So you can preview all the different preview types to here. So you want to make sure that you have the right fan page selected here. You can also select your Instagram account here. This is the destination, so where you want the user to go when they click your ad. So if they click this ad, they're going to come to this link. This is where you can edit the headline, which is here. So I may say something like, get yours now, or click here to get yours. And you can see that headline is updating over here to the right. Awesome. Nurse shirts for nurse. Awesome nurse shirts for awesome nurses only. And then I can do a call to action so I can have learn more. Uh, in this case, I'll do shop now. And you can see that updates over here. And then show advanced options. So awesome nurse shirts for nurse people only. You can see it up here. Awesome nurse shirts for awesome nurses only. Get yours here. News feed link description. Shop Sunfrog for nurse shirts. You can see that's updating here. Display link, it can just change the link here. If I wanted to say something like sunfrog.com forward slash nurse shirts. Uh, or if this was like a super long link, I could shorten it up here. Uh, offline tracking, uh, we're not going to worry about that. We don't have any offline tracking. Facebook Pixel, now this is where we would create a Facebook Pixel. So you're going to want to watch the Facebook Pixel training video. But whenever your Pixel is selected, then you will have a drop down like this here. And you can select your Facebook pixel and then you place order. And once you do that, your ad will be reviewed. Typically, it goes live within an hour, but it can take up to 24 or 48 hours. And then you will be able to manage your ads 
in the ads manager. And in this video, you have just learned how the Facebook ads manager works.